All right guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna take a look at this new shelving system for my 4Runner. All right, so I need a shelving system inside the 4Runner because I go camping quite often every year and there's just no space to put all my stuff, especially when I'm sleeping inside of the car. And so this shelf system is supposed to help with that. And it comes with one shelf where I can actually adjust the shelf based on where I need it. This shelf system is supposed to solve the problem that I have of just storing stuff inside the car if I'm also sleeping inside this car. So I purchased this from Amazon. I'll put the link down below in case you want to get one for yourself. But um, it had a lot of reviews and it looked like a system that would fit my car. Um, I have this third row set up right here. So this system looks like it'll fit my car perfectly fine and will give me the option to add in a shelf in here possibly two shelf if I can order another shelf. But for now, I'm shooting for at least one shelf so that I can put my backpack and stuff on top and my clothes on top. Um, and then that would still make room for my bed and still have some leg room in here. So the goal here is to make sure I could get this thing unpacked, get it fitted, and hopefully it'll work out for my setup. All right, so this unit came in this box here. Um, doesn't look that big, probably like 24 inch by, I don't know, 16 to 18 inch and about eight to nine inches tall. Got my trusty old razor blade here and I'm just gonna cut this open. And based on the review, I mean, this unit looks like um, it serves a purpose and it looks like a unit that is pretty sturdy and would fit well with my setup. Um, so based on the review, I just decided to purchase this and give it a try. Um, there are other systems out there, but they just cost way more money, like double the price of this unit. And I actually like the design of this unit. It seems like they really thought out the whole process and ensured that the fitment would be right and also uh, the shelving piece. It looks like structurally it's just more solid. All right, let me pull this out. All right, so actually, it's pretty nice how they have this thing all set up. Um, it's bubble wrapped, which is great. It's to ensure that it arrives without dents and dings. So we'll find out pretty soon here once I have this opened up. But uh, so far, I mean, it's bubble wrapped. Everything's bubble wrapped. It looks awesome. And we're gonna start taking this apart and see what it comes with. And this looks like a shelf bracket, first one. All right, let's see. All right, this is one of the brackets, all right? This is probably this side bracket over here. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this over here so I know this goes over here. That's the bracket there. And this one is, this looks like, this looks like another shelf piece, all right? So there's two of these and it's notched, it's notched here to fit the liner at the top. So this one's probably gonna go on this side just from looking at this, right? So there's two of them. I'm gonna set them both together right here. And they have all these rubber for cushioning. I'm not sure what it's for until I read the instructions, but they look like they have sticker on here. So it must go on something. It's probably gonna sit up against, you know, the plastics inside the car. But let's, uh, let's look at the instructions, if there is any, and see what it's all about. Same thing here. Some type of molding with a sticker back on it, a little cushioning here for protection. All right, here's the other piece. Okay, looks pretty sturdy, looks very nice. All right. So this one goes on this side, so I'm just gonna drop it right here. What else does it come with? All the hardware.
All right, so it does come with a lot of hardware. This is all the hardware right here. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm not sure what these are. Brackets of some sort. Okay. Then some extension bolts, it looks like. All right. And it's always a good thing to include wrenches, tools to get the job done. So that's pretty cool. All right. So that's good to have always. So lay that out right there. And uh, this kit comes with more accessories, wing nuts, wing nuts. And I'm assuming this is going to be for the shelving system, but we'll know more again once we look at the instructions. A lot of hardware, nuts, bolts, washers, things of that nature. And of course, more nuts, more bolts. All right, so what else? There's this piece here. I'm not sure what this is. Let's find out. I'm thinking this piece connects up to the very top. That's what it looks like. So let's get this going. Bracket to connect the shelf together. Okay, so the shelf comes in two pieces and this bracket looks like it's here to mount the two together to make it one long um, rack. This is the second piece for the other side. This looks like the mount, okay, mounted to the top of the vehicle. Not the top, but it, to mount inside here, that's what it looks like. Looks like it's something like this. Maybe, possibly. And here is the other side. So again, good quality. Um, it does have a few dings here and there, you can tell. Hopefully you can tell. Some nicks, some knacks here and there. And um, yeah, it's just how it's packaged. So it shouldn't, it should still function just fine. But there are some nicks, some knacks in here. We're gonna have to figure out how everything is bolted together. All right, instructions. So based on this, the easiest thing to set up first would be the rack. But let's just follow through and figure out how we're gonna work this out. Um, instructions are pretty okay. I mean, if we're looking at this instruction right here, if you look at this, I mean, I'm basically just gonna follow this here. I don't even know what brand this is, um, but I'll put it down in the description below, the link in case you wanna get this for your 4Runner as well. They do make different variations for different car, like the Lexus and, uh, the um, SUVs for the Lexus and possibly some of the other brands out there as well. Uh, I did see a few different ones. The design is a little bit different because the interior is different, but uh, in a sense, it does the same thing. It provides you that extra shelf in there. So I am just gonna follow through with this right here and try to get this whole thing set up in the Forerunner. This is the back here on the instructions, just in case you wanna see what this is all about. And we'll start off the first, and that is taking this lock off right here. One and two is right here. So we'll start off with that and get that going. So that pretty much takes care of all this right here. If I take the bolt off, that takes care of all this. Next will be taking off the bolt on top. So it looks like it uses this little hanger. So we're gonna take that off. I think I have all the bolts off right now. Next step is to put these long guys in. These looks like extenders and I 
but there's four of them. Okay, there's four that needs to be installed. All right, so I'm getting ahead of myself. Before we continue, it looks like I'm up to here. I need to work on this right here. Install the side window, window hanger and we need to put that back up. And once we do that, then we can start mounting on these smaller brackets down here, these little extenders. After that, we can start to locate our brackets here and get that installed. This piece, this is the extender piece that bolts right in, came with this bracket right here or this piece of metal right here and this is supposed to support it. So I don't know if I want to put this in yet or not um, because if I do it'll be really hard with this double-sided tape to take this piece off and revert back if I do decide I go back to stock. Uh, this piece goes like this and it's, this gets mounted in and this metal piece provides kind of support because this extender is kind of long. So, I'll have to think about it, if I'm going to use this or not, maybe I'll just set in like that for now, I don't know. Alright, it's up to you, I think you should install it, I think I will too, still debating. Here are the extender installed, shorter one, this is the bigger one down here, Get the bracket installed. Got the both side panels installed already didn't take too long but now I'm working on the shelf it has all these poles but the instruction doesn't really say much about how to align certain things and where to put the tape so um, the tape I'm referring to is kind of like this cushion right here this cushion with the um, tape in the back and so I am just gonna try to figure that out to see where this goes and then we'll get all mounted and we'll see the final product. When putting these two poles together, there are a specific pole that gets put together like this. And um, that's because of how it's mounted. This one has all the holes for the screws right in the front where there's nothing on this side and nothing on this side. And this one, goes towards the very back of the shelf. This one here, this pull is different because it's got these special set of screws, holes right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on one end. And then there are these one, two, three, four on the other end. So this one uh, is a special one here and there really is no instructions aside from just kind of figuring out how this thing is mounted together. This one goes towards the other side of the rack. All right guys, so got the shelf done. This thing is beefy and looks to be very sturdy. It's pretty large. So this is gonna be pretty awesome for the setup. I just have to figure out how I'm gonna put this in by myself. So I will, I will get that installed right now. So I think I figured out where the sticker goes on, these foam. I think they go right there, in right there. I mean, it makes the most sense to me. So that's where I threw them. And this is the piece that actually gets mounted to the sides here, which supports the shelf. All right, so I finally got the system installed and boy, this thing looks great and awesome. Let's get a closer look at it. Okay, this is the system installed. And as you can see, I decided to put on the second shelf or second from the top because you can actually put it above just a little bit up here. There's a spot up here to put the uh, shelf mounted on and that would bring the shelf up to about right here. I decided to put on this one with the wing nut here and with the wing nut I can make adjustments later if needed. There's another possible shelf location right here 
and then lastly you can lay it down here so one two three four four shelving four shelf option here if i wanted to and if they were selling i could probably buy another shelf to put it down here but because i am sleeping in here when we go camping i don't want to um, take up a lot of leg room down here because my mattress is about four inches thick down here and then my legs will be right around this area i want to make sure i can put my clothes and stuff on top my gears so we'll make sure they're right there so i can still get if i need it and uh yeah so i think i mean this is an awesome awesome setup uh, i was a bit worried at first because of all of these extra bolts that i still have left over but i guess with the kit they just come with all these extra stuff um, just as spare. So there is the unit installed and I will have to give this a try out in my next trip. All right, guys, that is it for this video. It did take about two to three hours to get this installed. The shelf took the longest, but now that I have it installed, I am ready for my next trip. Thank you for stopping by. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop it down and I will answer them for you. If you're looking to get the same setup for your 4Runner and or other vehicles that they make this unit for, check out the link below and get yours right now as they are on sale. Got it for about 350, 360. Uh, normally they're around 420, 430. So get it while it's on sale. It fits perfectly fine. It's very sturdy uh, and I am anxious to start using it. Again, guys, thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video.